awake and kundalini energy now the first and last answer for this is awakening your kundalini is only in god's hands okay but you can definitely prepare yourself you can definitely prepare yourself so that whenever that awakening is about to happen you are actually totally ready to receive that power you are totally ready to receive that mighty energy okay so make sure that you watch this entire video also there are certain um, certain myths or certain things certain important things that i need to say uh, something about kundalini so i have put that for the last part of this video so make sure that you watch this entire video take necessary notes whenever necessary necessary notes whenever necessary okay stay tuned method the first and most important method for kundalini awakening is meditation anybody who wants to begin on their journey anybody who wants to progress on their kundalini journey meditation is going to be of utmost importance at the same time if you are interested in opening your chakras again meditation is the key to that also is yoga and pranayam yeah it's in english pranayam is what we call in hindi and in sanskrit so yoga and pranayam is something that helps you to prepare your body see when you actually think that you want to awaken kundalini and you stay prepared for it mentally that is mental preparation but your body the yeah preparing your body preparing the energy system of your body for the awakening is also important which is where yoga and pranayam can actually help you to prepare on the bodily level as well as energetic level the best thing for awakening kundalini is getting a diksha from your guru diksha is something that a guru gives guru is a spiritual teacher who will give you the diksha and in the diksha he will give you a process that will help you to awaken your kundalini now this diksha is different for everyone because everybody's path is different everybody's energy system is different everybody's karmic cycle is different okay everybody has different set of karmas in their baggage everybody's body everybody's learnings purpose everything is different so based on your unique energy and your life your guru will decide what kind of diksha will work for you and he will start preparing you he will start guiding you he will give you diksha for awakening and your kundalini will awaken only when you are ready okay then there are several different forms of yoga it is there is kriya yoga bhakti yoga hatha yoga raj yoga so all of these different methods you can actually try you say oh no no don't tell me to try give me a perfect method see if you don't have a guru i would suggest you go and get one because your guru will be able to tell you exactly what kind of method will be suitable to you okay at the same time if you are just in preparation phase and maybe you know you just want to try out you will need to try out these different forms of yoga and see which one suits you again as i said the direction of a guru will be the best for you thing i want to say is if you if you intend that your kundalini should awaken if you have a deep desire okay a like a hugely deep desire that you want to awaken your kundalini that desire also will work as a catalyst in awakening your kundalini that desire will attract towards you people who can help you or people who will direct you towards your guru yeah so 
uh, we ju I just told you the different things that can help you to awaken. Now there are some few more questions that what is the exact time and how much time the Kundalini awakens. See this is like a hugely pressing question. I get this like a tons and tons of times. And the biggest truth about this is nobody in this world can tell you in how much duration your Kundalini will awaken and it will complete the full path of seven chakras okay now sometimes you know people tell me okay you do tarot you pull out cards for me and see what is the duration see there is no duration even with tarot readings for kundalini awakening because the time and duration will vary sometimes you know if you tell people that okay five years they usually they usually get very laid back and say oh it's five long years so their practices will start diminishing and those five years will then stretch to 10 or 15 years and sometimes if somebody does not know what is their time for kundalini awakening what happens is that when they are trying you know when they are so much desperately trying that their path just gets smaller and smaller because their practices are immense okay so even with the diksha from your guru your guru will not tell you how much time will be necessary for you to open your kundalini okay so that time nobody will able to tell you now the last and the most important thing i'd like to say i have been repeating this in this entire video having a guru is extremely necessary suppose if you had an involuntary awakening involuntary awakening is where you did not intentionally awaken your kundalini it just got awakened by its own even in that case you will require to search for a guru okay i have shared with you a video how to search for a guru do try to check that so that you can follow the best method for that okay so yes so this is the video for you i hope that you like it if you have liked this video hit the like button let me know in the comments if you have further questions on this topic and share this video with as many people as you can who have these same questions and i'll see you again in my next video until then keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching bye bye Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. When you click on the bell icon, select all notifications so that you get notified about all the videos that I upload.